Police say they have the man who did the shooting, a deadly shooting inside a Harlem smoke shop. The alleged gunman was wanted for another murder that happened just hours earlier. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, sources tell us the suspect was out on bail for another crime when the shootings happened. Surveillance video shows the fatal encounter Sunday. Two men are talking inside a smoke shop on Malcolm X Boulevard when the man on the left pulls out a gun. We're freezing the video just before he shoots the 36-year-old victim point blank. Tuesday, police arrested 21-year-old Messiah Nantwi. Police sources tell us investigators believe he also shot and killed a 19-year-old gang rival in Harlem earlier that same day. And to make matters worse, Nantwi was out on bail at the time for attempted murder charges. This is police body camera video from that encounter two years ago when prosecutors allege Nantui shot at an NYPD sergeant and two officers who tried to stop him from spraying graffiti on a building in the South Bronx. The officers were not injured. So why was the suspect out on the streets after being indicted on attempted murder charges of police officers? Well, the Bronx District Attorney's Office told us that the judge in that case set the bail at half a million dollars and then later reduced it to $300,000 despite the DA's objection. The defendant only has to pay 10% of that $30,000, which he was able to do. I don't know what they took into consideration, but this guy should have been in jail sitting for his, uh, you know, trial. John Jay College of Criminal Justice Professor Michael Alcazar says while jail sentences for attempted murder of an officer can be about 10 years, he's not surprised this case is still awaiting trial two years after the shooting. I think it's just a backlog of work and sadly that's what they're taking into consideration over the safety of New York City citizens. So uh, it's failing. The system's failing. Nantwi is now in custody awaiting arraignment for the Harlem shootings. From Lower Manhattan, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.